Hey everybody, Dog8798 here. This is my review of the action science fiction film Edge of Tomorrow starring Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. Um, I was immediately interested in this film when I saw the trailers two weeks ago and I immediately decided to see this film instead of X-Men Days of the Future Past but the theater closest to me closed down so I originally wanted to see this and X-Men Days of the Future Past but the theater closest to me closed down so instead whenever I got a chance to hang out with my um, dad um, I chose to see Edge of Tomorrow and Days of the Future Past next time Days of the Future Past next time and I'm glad I did because Edge of Tomorrow was an awesome film one of the main reasons I chose Edge of Tomorrow over Days of Future Past was because when I was on Wikipedia, I read two things that pissed me off. What, number one was Days of the Future Past would be a two-hour a two hour movie. I did not want to watch a two-hour movie with dialogue, dialogue, and not enough um, action. The, the first three X-Men movies weren't like that. And then, of course, um, the sequel to Days of the Future Past, Apocal Apocalypse, that's going to suck. They're taking an apocalypse storyline and combining it with the first class um, storyline with the characters from the very first first class film and that's gonna be um, garbage so that immediately made me want to see Edge of Tomorrow and I am glad I saw this film because this film was awesome totally lived up to the expectations I set for it I really didn't care much for the story um, I love the roles of Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt and of course the action sequences the action sequences in CGI but this film had a great complex um hard to follow story story awesome characters and some um and of course all the good CGI action CGI mecha action and gunfights I can I I can um a, a good film can have and then it had um then it had humor that this film was very this film was very humorous I was laughing throughout the whole movie so were the other people in the theater and um and on um, this movie despite a box office disappointment this made some of his money back but despite a box office disappointment this movie was well received and it deserved to be um well received because this movie was um awesome the, the plot of this movie is Tom Cruise's character Cage unwillingly gets enlisted into the army and has to go through training go go through training for combat against some um, aliens on the battlefield on the battlefield he gets killed by one of the aliens and it starts over so he later learns that he has inherited the ability to see the future and to um, restart time restart time after several more battle attempts he sees Emily Blunt's character Rita Porosky she per, per, Vita Porosky, something like that. She um, she tells him, she tells him that when that when he wakes up again, when he wakes up again, whenever he gets killed, he wakes up and it starts over to find her, and she'll explain everything to him. He eventually does that, and they, through several mishaps, try to prevent an invasion and save the save the future. The plot unfolds from there. I'll um talk more about the film when the DVD releases which I can't wait for I can't wait for the DVD to release because I would badly want to see this again because this film right here was um this film right here was um awesome humor humor some awesome mech action and gunfights and um Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt portray deep relatable and funny um funny characters the only thing that annoyed me about this film was um some of the other characters in the film, they were funny, but there was this one girl with an annoying um, English accent that was just annoying to listen to. I wanted her to get killed. I wanted that character to get killed. It was just um, annoying. But this film right here was awesome. This is what I want to see. Um, they're, they're focusing way too much on comic book superhero type movies. I want more action. I want more action movies, man. I want more old school um action on um, movies and this one right here was a good one was a good one all right well Doug 8798 out